mabuhay. Ito nga pala si Teacher Jan. At ito ang I Teach. Kung bagay kayo sa channel na to, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell button para updated kayo. Sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Tara, simulan na natin ang lesson ngayong araw na to. Technical Drafting, TLE8, Quarter 1, Module 1, Use of Hand Tools and Equipment. But before we start, let's answer these questions. 1. Why does a drafter need a T-square? A. To have guide in drawing horizontal line. B. To help in navigating direction. C. To help in measuring blueprints. Or D. To get accurate parallel lines. Number 2. Which drawing instrument is similar to a divider when used? A. Compass B. Triangle C. T-square or D. Triangular scales Number 3. Why is it necessary to use masking tape in drawing? A. To tighten the drawing board B. To add color to the drawing paper C. To fasten the drawing paper on the drawing paper on the drawing board. Or D. To make the task easy. Number 4. It is a three-sided ruler which typically has two equal sides meeting at a 90-degree angle and to a third side at 45, 30, including 60-degree angles. A. Compass B. Hard pencil C. Masking tape or D. Triangle And number 5. What tool will you use in order to reproduce the measurement of an object to any size? A. Ruler B. Protractor C. Triangle or D. Triangular scales At the end of the lesson, your teacher will check your answer. Tara, gawin na natin ang susunod na activity. Activity 1. Directions. Arrange the scrambled letters to form a word to answer the statement above. Use the given activity sheet for your answer. One. Type of pencils when extreme accuracy is required. 2. Used to clean the dirt off the drawing. 3. An instrument used for transferring measurements. Number 4. Type of pencils used for general purpose in drawing. And number 5. It is used to determine gradations of the degrees when measuring arcs, angles, and circles. Tara! Punta na tayo sa lesson. Sa araw na ito. Drafting materials and tools, its uses and functions. There are a great variety of drafting materials and tools used in mechanical drawing. The drafting materials and tools discussed in this module include most of the basic ones but sufficient enough for your initial understanding about technical drawing. Drawing paper. 
Various types of drawing papers are available for use, but hard and soft surface drawing papers are highly recommended to be the best. This type does not groove easily when pressure is applied to the pencil. Oslo paper is commonly used, but bond paper is also recommended. Masking tape. This is used for fastening the drawing paper on the drawing table or drawing board because it does not damage the board and it will not damage the paper if it is removed by pulling it off. Pencil sharpener. Pencils should be sharpened whenever they show sign of dullness. Various types and designs are available in the store for use. Eraser. This is used to clean the dirt of the drawing. A soft eraser is advantageous in removing smudges and pencil marks, whereas a harder eraser is useful for making changes and correcting errors in the drawing. Drawing Pencil. This is one of the most important tools in drawing. It comes in various grades. The grade of pencil to be used depends on the quality of paper to be used. You have to take into consideration also the type of line work required. There are three types of drawing pencils. One is hard pencils. Hard pencils are used where extreme accuracy is required, especially working on graphs, diagrams, and charts. Another type is medium pencils. These are used for general purpose work in drawing. Last is soft pencils. These pencils are too soft to be used in mechanical drafting. They are very useful for artwork of various kinds. Let's talk about measuring tools. T square. It is a drawing instrument used when making horizontal lines. It is also used for guiding triangles when drawing vertical lines. It is made of wood, plastic, or the combination of both. There are three types of T square, namely fixed head. The head is fastened to the blade. It is used for ordinary work. Movable head or adjustable head. It has one fixed and one adjustable head and used only for occasional drawing. Detachable head or removable head. It is designed for comfort when carrying the T square. Another measuring tool is triangle. It is a three-sided ruler which typically has two equal sides meeting at a 90 degree angle and a third side at a 30, including 60 degree angles. It is usually made of plastic and comes in different sizes. If in use, the base of the triangle must rest on the blade of the T-square. When drawing a line, always starts from the point near to the base going upward. The two commonly used triangles are 30 degrees by 60 degrees and 45 degrees by 45 degrees. Compass. This drawing instrument is used when drawing arcs and circles. It is used in a similar way to a divider. It is composed of one with a pen leg and the needle point leg being held together with a handle. This drawing instrument can be used for both penciling and inking. Divider. This is a drawing instrument used when transferring measurements, dividing lines and arcs into the desired number of equal parts. It can easily transfer accurate measurements by adjusting the divider points. 
Constant correct practice is necessary before doing an actual work for a quick and easy control when used. Ruler A ruler, sometimes called a rule or line gauge, is a device used technical drawing to measure distances or draw straight lines. This drafting tool is used when drawing vertical lines. Protractor. It is a semi-circular instrument divided into 100 equal parts, each of which is called a degree. It is used to determine gradations of the degrees when measuring arcs, angles, and circles. High-quality protractor is usually made of plastic. Tapos na! Maraming salamat! Dito nagtatapos ang aralin natin sa araw na ito. Pero huwag mo nang umalis sapagkat meron pang ipagagawa si teacher sa inyo. Huwag din kalimutan mag-share, like, follow, comment, and hit the bell button para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang lessons. Maraming salamat rin sa mga gumawa at may-ari ng mga illustrations at module na ito. Maraming salamat rin sa DepEd.